Systems are almost ready for the historic launch of the NOAA's Goes You mission. NASA and NOAA held a virtual meeting this week to preview the upcoming launch in June as part of a series of advanced geostationary weather satellites. Here to explain that and give us some insight is our own VNA Arana. What will this uh, satellite be tracking? What kind of data? Yeah, and this is important data that then we receive and the scientists take a deeper dive into it. So this is the last in the series of four GOES R series. Now GOES stands for Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites. And the team has spent years building and testing components to make sure that they can get through the harsh conditions, mm. of course, during the launch itself. So how far is the journey? Well, this satellite will reside 22,236 miles above Earth. The series uses a ABI, known as Advanced Baseline Imager. It's a primary camera, basically, that provides fast and accurate data to help track things like the Earth's weather, climate, oceans, and the environment. Having technology in, in the GOES satellite, whether it's GOES-R or GOES-U and future technology, early detection is everything. And we think about a satellite, the first thing you think of is, is a cloud. We see more than clouds, and, and lightning detection is a key to some of our early warnings for the, the fire weather community. So a lightning strike in, in a dry area in a time of the year that could cause a fire, that's an indicator to us that, that there could be a potential fire starter. So why is it historic? Well, the launch, it's because it will carry something new. It is the first operational compact coronagraph known as c -Core 1, which basically is a solar telescope. It looks at the outer atmosphere of the sun known as the corona, which is where extreme space weather originates. That's so interesting. It captures so much important information that could give you folks, like meteorologists, mm -hmm. a heads up of these storms that are coming. When is it set to lift off? Well, you know, this is scheduled right now, pending any weather, of course, June 25th at 516 Eastern Time. And it's going to be aboard the SpaceX Falcon Heavy Rocket from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Here's the thing. Once it makes it to orbit, it actually changes the name. Oh. It goes from Goes U. It will be renamed as Goes 19. Okay. And they tend to do that depending on the sort of data they begin to gather, replacing old geostationary satellites. And, of course, we will keep you posted on the launch itself. And hopefully we get some fantastic information back. It's so fast we can gather data every 30 seconds. Of what's wow. Happening up there. Really quick, really quick Okay, thank you so much.